call right now, we'll send you after the grand prize is 15. But on this day, they will show... Good wrestlers hook up. Both into the ropes. Star takes the advantage. No, it's Choshu and back to the Fake. Star in the corner. Not. It's totally staged. It's choreographed like ballet. Would you call Swan Lake a fake just because it's not real swans? <laughs> See, you've got your headlock hey. and your body slam. Hey! And your scissors hold. Oh, you are so and your tough. Nelson. <laughs> oh, oh. You're you still think it's kind fake? Of, you're kind of like a half Nelson. I am not a half Nelson. You're a half Nelson. Don't! Stop it! Jesse! Don't! Carl, you did that. <clears throat> Mr. Thatcher. Hi, Dad. You want to watch wrestling? Star with that head to the putting yourself in any danger. But every time he touches you, I... Dad... I know, I know, I know. It's completely illogical. But I can't help it. You're my daughter. It scares me. I know what you mean. It used to scare me, too, but I got to know him and it got easier. No matter how much I get to know him, I don't think it's going to change the way I feel. Well, Dad, I don't know what to tell you. Meaning? He's my boyfriend, and I love him. So basically, you're just going to have to get used to it. Why do you have fingernail polish in only one hand? Oh, um, my dad wanted to go for a walk and a talk. Your dad. Jess, I know he likes you. Face it. Boyfriend is to a father what a snake is to a mongoose. So you just have to get to know him. There you go. Thanks. Oh, do you have any little marshmallows? I like my cocoa with little marshmallows. Uh-oh. Ah. What happened? Ah. 
Listen, doesn't your sister fix pipes or something? I'll call. Well, is she coming? Not exactly. Mr. Thatcher, turn off the gas main outside. Well, it must be 95 degrees in here. Tell me about it. Yeah. Uh, Becca, I'm going to need my gloves. You want to go out to the truck and get them for me, please? Oh. Whoa. What do we got here? Oh, it's my dad. It's nice. The watch records? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Big Joe Turner. He's a blues singer. I know that. <laughs> you know that. T-Bone Walker. Blind Lemon Jefferson. Howlin' Wolf. Wow. Are these your father's? No, they're mine. Yours? Yeah. I'm broke and I'm barefoot, my back to the wall. If it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Go ahead and wreck me and let me know when you're through. Because all the wrong you've done to me is going to come right back to you. <laughs> Otis James, 1935. 36. She walked out the door. Philadelphia with his kids. Now it's just my mom and me. And your real father? He died when I was six. Ice on the road. That's all they ever said. Not that he was killed or that it was a terrible wreck. Just ice on the road. Over and over. Like a weather forecast. Six-year-old. <laughs> well, this is a cheery conversation. <laughs> well, we're in a blues club. <laughs> we can be as depressing as we want. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> All right, then. It's your turn. Tell me something depressing. Not just melancholy or, or pensive. Something really down and dirty. Oh, 
my father never left. He stuck around and drank. He cheated on my mother. He ignored me and my brother. But he never left. That's pretty depressing. I know. <laughs> You finally got that thing put together. We had to take it back to the man at the store. I guess they could fix everything. Don't tell him that. So what you looking for? Perseus. Perseus? Yeah. He was a Greek hero. Yes, and he fought Medusa, the lady with snakes for hair. Pretty gross, huh? Yeah. <laughs> She turned anyone to stone. And he saved the hotel from her. Yeah, I remember. And he slayed the sea monster. Clark, you're really getting into this <laughs> stuff, aren't you? I'm going to the star party next weekend, if the weather clears up. Cool. So did you find him yet? Not tonight. Must be the clouds. Who's Jesse? Um, he went out with Dad. Really? Yeah, pretty weird, huh? Turns out they both like the blues. God knows how anyone can listen to that depressing stuff, but whatever works, right? Why didn't you go with them? I wasn't invited. It's 2.30 in the morning. Oh, uh, yeah. I lost track of time. Huh? I took Jesse to this little blues club down on Maxwell Street. So I heard. You've been too busy to take me out to dinner for months, but you find time to go to a blues club with Jesse? Lib, he doesn't have that many friends. He has Becca. She doesn't like the blues. I see. You know, his own stepfather practically kicked him out of the house when he found out he was HIV positive. What kind of man does that? It's their family. Their business. It's not your place to interfere. I'm not interfering. I'm just spending a little time with them. Getting to know them. For Becca's sake. It's not like it's going to be an everyday kind of thing. Hey, is your dad here? Hey, hey, hey. All right, you ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Go where? Use record shops. Treasure hunt. Yeah, you know, the last time I went to a record store, they didn't even carry records. No, it's a tragedy, isn't it? Now, I know this place down on Rush. Where'd they go in? Oh, I know that one. They got everything. Record shopping. I guess you never it. I guess not. Hey. Hey, Dad. Hi. You want to go for a walk? Oh, can't now, honey. Oh, but it's such a beautiful day out. Something bothering you? Um, well, now that you mention it, Look, I feel like an idiot bringing this up. You'll hate what I have to say, and I'll hate saying it, but... What? It's Jesse. We're getting along great. Yeah, I know, and maybe that's Excuse why... Excuse me, uh, can I take your order? No, I'm fine, thanks. Okay, Nothing? You sure? Boy. Some hot cocoa? I'm sure. Thank you. Little marshmallows? Good help's hard to find.
Come here. Let me show you. There's a real art to this. It has to be exact. Some people like to use those fancy schmancy cutters. Not me. Like to line it up, eyeball it. There you go. Six perfect pieces. Wait a minute. Aren't you going to read the directions? <laughs> Get me a plate. <laughs> Here you go. One pecan special. I think you got a Nancy customer on table 12. What? Nothing. What a day. Listen, I... I just want to thank you for giving me this job. I just didn't give it to you. I was busy. I needed you. Not so fast. Got a little surprise for you. nice of you to give my son a job. Well, I really... And to take him out and show him such a good time the other night. Oh, it's a lot of fun. You even fixed my heater. Please, it was nothing. No, you're wrong, Mr. Thatcher, it was. It was too much. What do you mean? Look, it's not that I don't appreciate everything that you've done for him. I do. But I'm just scared. I was only trying to be helpful. Well, don't try to be helpful. Don't ride in like a white knight. And please, don't try to be a father to Jesse. He already has one. Doesn't sound to me like he was much of a father. You don't know my husband. You have no right to judge him. You're right. I apologize. I'm not proud of his decision, but I do try to understand his fears. I only know I would never do anything like that to him. Truth is, you don't know what you do until it happens to you. I never heard a great kid like that. I wouldn't walk away. I hope that you mean that. I do mean it. Good, because Jesse can't take one more person leaving him. Hi, honey. Good night, Mr. Thatcher. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Good night. Well, you may go. Sweet dreams may follow you. Yes, you may go, babe. Sweet dreams may follow you. You long for me, baby. Honey, when I won't want you. Yeah, baby, your daddy's got to go. Says the world's too fast, and I'm too doggone slow. Too doggone slow. Yeah. 
Hey, Drew. Hey, Grandpa. Huh? Saturday already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow's your birthday? Yeah. Well, let's see what we can do about that. Great right usual. You got it. Hey. Behave yourself. Don't stop it. The Cutners are here. Cutners. Uh, three double cheeseburgers, one no tomato, one extra mayo, three chocolate shakes, and one large chili fries. I'll get the potatoes. I'll get them. <laughs> hey, what have you been up to this week? Saw a great band the other night. Really? A band? Yeah, went downtown. Johnny Lee's place on Maxwell Street. It's still there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Who would you take, Libby? No, I went with uh, Jesse, Becca's boyfriend. The HIV kid. You know about that. Hey, the whole neighborhood knows about that. Well, he's a great kid. Oh, I got nothing against him. Uh, I think that's great. You were spending time with the boy. All right, we got our world famous chili fries. Burger for you. Burger for you, dude. So, uh, who do you think is going to be in the playoffs this year? Oh, I don't know. Too early to tell. Go ahead, eat. No, no, I really want to know. Uh, let them cool down there. Too hot. To tell you the truth, I haven't had much time to keep up with the games this season. Come on, Drew, you. Our restaurant's been so busy. Yeah, not so busy today. You know, I think I got a touch of that stomach flu that's going around. Stomach flu? Yeah, I, I, I felt something this morning, and then I thought it would go away, but... Oh, are you leaving? What? Yeah, come on, kids. Uh, get your coats. Oh, you want me to wrap it up? Oh, no, no, that's okay. Yeah, we'll leave. Come on. Take your coat. Coach. Hey, Coach. I'll catch you later. Coach, wait a minute. I shouldn't be here. Jesse, I don't want you to quit because one person walked out. What happens when it's more than one person? What happens when there are fewer and fewer customers? I don't care if there are no customers. Sure you do. You don't need anyone, do you? You won't let anyone stand up for you. Because you don't have the guts to stand with them. And you're scared. You know, Mr. Thatcher, when I was a kid, I was scared all the time. I was even afraid to sleep. I remember my father, my real father, sitting by my bedside. He said he'd keep an eye out for any monsters while I slept. <laughs> I don't know how he did it. But I would always wake up about halfway through the night, and there he was, just sitting there, wide awake, keeping away the monsters. But I don't have to be scared like that anymore. My father's gone, and the monsters got me. I know it's hard for you to trust. I know a lot of people let you down. Everyone walked away. Well, I don't walk away. I'll make you a deal. You don't quit on me, and I don't quit on you. People are still in the dark ages. I think people have the right to be cautious. Cautious? Not paranoid. People are afraid of what they don't know. Are you afraid? 
and that's up to me. Well, who's it up to? People worry about who's touching the food. Well, you can't hurt them. If I ever thought he was any danger, he wouldn't be here. But you can't guarantee anything. Hans. Sidra, I spend my whole life learning to cook, to please the customer, to respect the customer. I feel this is not respecting the customer. I'm sorry. Hans. Are you quitting? I finish out the week. We'll come. I would put you or anyone else in danger. All the research, all of it, says you can't get it from food service. Well, maybe not, but people are afraid. They're afraid to take a chance. A chance on what? The virus doesn't transmit by touching or breathing. Yeah, yeah, that's what they say now. What, what if in a couple of years they say different? You just don't know. You don't know that your engine's not going to blow up every time you start the car. But you can make yourself crazy yeah, thinking about yeah, those true. things. I understand what you're saying. But when it comes to putting the food in my mouth, I just can't do it. What are you trying to prove? You have no customers. You can keep Jesse on for as long as you want. It's not going to change the way people feel. Somebody's got to stand up for him. And it's always got to be you. I'll see you around. Running away from home? Or just from me? Um, Jesse, I've been kind of a jerk lately. But it's only because I've missed you since you started working. It's only been a few days. I know. I guess I'm just having trouble with you wanting to spend so much time with my father. I can't explain it, Becca. I just need this right now. I thought you needed me. Well, I do. But there are some things that a girlfriend just can't do for you. Hello, Becca. Hi. Well, I guess I'd better get on the road. I've got a long drive ahead of me. Yeah. I'll call you when I get there. If you want to. Honey, of course I want to. Bye-bye. Where's she going? 
to your husband. Are you okay with this? Sure, why not? After what he's done to you? She said she's gonna try and patch things up. Oh, that's a big step. Do you want to talk about it? Or is that not the kind of thing you talk about with a girlfriend? I thought we'd go outside and take a look through the new scope. Too cold. Well, I went right here through the window. I don't feel like it. I know I've been spending a lot of time with Jesse. So? Are you mad? Does that bother you? No. I'm okay. You're my son. And I love you. And if you needed anything, I'd be right there. But you're fine right now. Jesse's hurting. And he doesn't have a dad. He needs me. The story party is this weekend. I'm taking you. You have my word. You know, I never break a promise. Here are the figures for last week. So I had one bad week. It's the weather. Maybe it is. But what if it's not? Are you willing to risk the restaurant? It's a little extreme. Three more weeks like this, and you won't meet payroll. So what are you saying? Honey, you know how I feel about Jesse. It's not me. That's what everyone says. It's not me. But no one's willing to stand up for what they believe. Stand up to whom? All those people out there. It wasn't so long ago that you couldn't stand it when Jesse touched Becca. I thought we were on the same side here. We are. But there's a lot at stake, Drew. Yeah. A young man's feelings. Can't fire him. He said he offered to quit. Talked him out of it. Drew, we have the house, a new baby, a daughter applying to college. I know that. I've always backed you up before, but... I made him a promise.
How'd you beat me here? I'm just up early, that's all. Jesse, I... I can't believe I have to do this. Jesse. I know. It's just that... I understand. No problem. I really, really loved having you here. Me too. I did exactly what Mary McKenna said I would. Honey, I'm sure Jesse knows you didn't mean it. Yeah, he knows that I let him down. Just like everyone else in his life. That's what he knows. Drew, you didn't have a choice. It would have cost you the rest of it. And how much did this cost? I broke the kid's heart. Nothing's worth that. Nothing can be thinking. How can you think with this music guard? <laughs> Makes me feel better. But it's the blues. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's good to know that other people have felt what you're feeling. You don't feel so alone. Do you feel bad? Right now I do. Because you're fired, Jesse. Why could he stay at the restaurant? People are afraid of him. They don't understand the sickness he has. I know what that feels like. Is he going to be okay? 
said he was. Sometimes... People say they're okay. When they're not. Sometimes they do. Maybe... You should check on them. I will later. Come on, we gotta get to that star party. I think you should check on him right now. Quirk, I promised I'd take it. I know. But I think he needs you more. Jesse? Can I come in? Uh, no. Actually, I was just on my way out. Uh, just, just give me a minute to say that it wasn't something I took lightly. It was a very hard decision. I'm sure it was. I mean, I wanted to stand up to them. I did. I got a lot of responsibilities, Jess. My family. Yeah, I know. People. People are just so ignorant. If there was any way I could explain to them, so they wouldn't be afraid of you, I... But people just don't change overnight. People. I'm just so sorry. Yeah, so am I. If there was any other way to do it, I would give anything if... Listen, it's no big deal. I mean, really. <laughs> We're talking about a stupid waiter job here. You know, I, I mean, I don't really even know why you're making such a big deal out of it. So you're really okay with this? Yeah. Okay, then. It's getting kind of cold. I guess I'll be leaving. What was that for? Jesse. Come on, son, talk to I'm me. Not your son. I just thought we. I, I don't care what you thought, Jesse. I just. I believed everything that you told me. And I was so wrong. I tried. If they had... No, no. Not they. Not they. Do you really think that I care what those people think? It's you. It was you. I didn't care if it was a whole world against me as long as you were there by my side and you walked away from me. You left me just like everyone else. And you promised that you would stay. You promised I'm me not going that there. you I'm promised me that I'm you not. would stay! I'm here. Why did you leave me? I'm here. Why did you leave I'm me? Here. Why? Come on. Why? 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 I hate you, Dad. 
north 58 degrees you'll see a constellation in the local galaxy known as Perseus the protector now the brightest of Perseus stars is Murfat a supergiant of magnitude 1.8 an actual luminosity of 4,000 suns and a distance of 570 light years Becca. You get to see this. Patches of light that you see. That's the one who slays the monsters, right? The double cluster of first. Did you see either blisters? Not a one. That's him. <laughs> 